I'm Justin Langer. I've been the patron of the Children's Leukaemia and Cancer Research Foundation for over 10 years. Why is that? Well, as a cricketer, I used to face a lot of hard balls and tough times, but it's nothing compared to what these kids and their families face. I'm so proud to be part of a team that has made such an awesome contribution for over 30 years. Is this the face you see when you think of a child with leukaemia? Wouldn't you rather see this face? This is Melissa, who is now a healthy, happy young woman. Every year, about 80 families here in Western Australia are faced with a diagnosis of leukemia or cancer for their child. Just like Melissa's family did when she was 13 years old. They are treated at the total care unit at the Children's Hospital in Perth. The doctors and our researchers are part of an international effort that has led to a tremendous increase in survival of children with cancer. Hi, I'm Melissa Ward. At age 13, I was diagnosed with acute lamblastic leukaemia. Um, it was a very scary thing, not knowing what kind of um, chemotherapy I'd be undergoing, whether it was involving needles or different kind of tablet drugs, medicines. Um, but here I am today, aged 29, strong and healthy and living a normal life. It was really scary um, for mum and dad as well. Uh, they hadn't, of course, known any children who had gone through anything like this, not knowing what it was all going to entail. We were lucky we had a lot of support from the foundation and also um, other people within the hospital, other families on the ward to help explain all the different um, drugs and things that I was going to be given um, and all the different procedures. I think the research that the foundation does is great. If it wasn't for the research that, you know, Ursula does, um, someone like myself wouldn't be in the position where I am today, you know, living such a healthy life, you know, have been moved on. Um, and, you know, haven't had any, you know, been very lucky to not have to go back and have any huge tests or anything done. Um, and just to know that there's so many other kids out there that I was in hospital with who are also, you know, living happy, healthy lives now, you know, from the research that is done. All this research, it's amazing. And, you know, if we can, you know, just keep the money coming in, I suppose, to help this because, you know, there's still so many children um, being diagnosed daily and there's, you know, still so much more out there that we can, we can find to help cure these diseases, these cancers. It is our goal to develop treatments for the children we are unable to cure today. Our research is resulting in a better understanding of childhood cancers and we are translating this vital knowledge into new and effective treatments. Our team of researchers have specialised expertise in investigating the molecular genetics of these various diseases. And they are ready, with your support, to develop therapies that will be more successful. And we can help children like Oliver. Oliver is a little boy, he's five. Um, when he was eight months old, he was diagnosed with uh, anaplastic large cell lymphoma. Uh, initially, we were in hospital for about uh, three to four weeks, uh, just uh, getting initial diagnostic tests done and then getting some baseline scans and things before he started his uh, induction chemo. He actually ended up doing chemotherapy for, um, weekly chemotherapy for six months. Um, and then went on to uh, three weekly chemo for another six months, so 12 months of chemo all up. While we were in there, um, a little four-year-old came in with leukaemia, another, uh, I think, six-week-old came in with neuroblastoma, um, and we met a number of friends that um, we're still close to, um, some that have uh, unfortunately lost their children and some whose children are, are going great. Now Oliver's just, he's just a normal little boy. You'd never know that he was sick. I, when people ask me, I always tell them, look, if you saw him running around, you'd never believe me. I mean, it's true, he's a big, strong little boy and he, we hope, like to think that he's got no recollection because it was so small. We first heard about the Children's Leukaemia Cancer Research Foundation, basically while I was researching Ollie's uh, treatment and um, other supports that we could get. I think research is, is just vital for for, for any medical treatment, but particularly for the kids' cancer, I mean, basically because of our personal experience. Um, and whilst the researchers 
focuses uh, and aims are very specific, I think research, it's, their research provides leaping off points for multiple other research uh, projects along the way. So yeah, I think without research there's, uh, there is just no future. <laughs> the ultimate goal of the Foundation is to cure every child who is diagnosed with leukaemia or cancer. It's been over 30 years since the Foundation was established. In 1983, when Professor Ursula Keyes first headed our research laboratory, children diagnosed with leukaemia had only a 30% survival rate. Today, thanks to the collaboration between our research staff and Perth Children's Hospital Total Care Unit, the survival rate is now 80%. We want to make this the face of all the children diagnosed with leukaemia and cancer. And with your help, we can do it. We rely on the support from the Western Australian community to continue our research. The children are our inspiration and your support is the key to our world pioneering research and the cure for childhood leukaemia and cancer.